knight h5 and knight back down to g3. So the knight was so no longer in, to under sacri- capture. Yeah, he's trying to sacrifice his knight for that h-pawn. As knight we saw, the perfect square. he found at knight e4, and there's the fork, the key the key in the physics. And now the you see that the minor piece is not strong enough to stop that pawn, and you're going to have to sacrifice it, and meanwhile, three versus two, and an, an easy victory, of course. And that's the power um, of, the, of, of distracting the king to... Um, And the players, there you have it, are starting game three in E4. There we have it, a Sicilian. Back into a Sicilian. This is a game that uh, Ding Loren used to win his first battle against Magnus yesterday. So some fond memories. Magnus actually taking a little bit of a think as he decides whether to go for an open line and how to perhaps transpose. But nope, it looks like he's going for a closed Sicilian. Still keeping that, cagely keeping that option of D2, D4 alive. And but, now he's confirmed that he's playing a close Sicilian with D2, D3. And I like this option in uh, blitz games. I mean, somehow it does feel a little bit easier to play with white. Um, Black's playing the queen side with rook b8, b5. Sure, that's easy to play too, but worrying about your king in a blitz game is always a little bit more difficult. And he's just played e76. By the way, h2, h3 prepares the move bishop e3. There's no harassment issues to be faced. Uh, once you get the g4 square under control, no f6, knight f6 to g4. So bishop e... Ooh! My understanding this is this is a by the way. e4, e5 trick. Just a second. There's a tactic alert. e4, e5. Remember that bishop on g2 always in ambush on the long diagonal. How do you, how do you meet e4, e5? Yeah, this is a really uh, typical tactic in the class Sicilian, yes. Very, so after e5, would you just be forced to play knight d5, jesting a pawn? Absolutely. It's not jesting a pawn. I'm Why? Like, e5, e5, knight d5, if you take twice, your h-pawn is hanging. So the, then I just... The, the, the knight uh, on c6 is hanging. And Magnus, after a little bit it, of so thought... We'll have to check that actually later. Actually slow down and play the move queen d1, d2, and d6, d5, in threatening d5, d4, and encouraging... Bishop h6. Now Max has been played. With a time disadvantage for first big time disadvantage of the blitz. He's down 45 seconds on Ding Ren, But Ding Ren is starting to think right now. Well, exactly. And he, ooh, normally speaking, you don't really like uh, a queen cozying up to your king. And Bishop takes h6, invited the queen over to the king's side. Uh, right now, the queen is lacking any supporting pieces. Uh, but that is something that, that Ding has to be concerned about, allowing the queen on those dark squares. Now that the dark square bishops have been traded, I like uh, white. And I think, uh, Maurice, were you going to tell us why e5 didn't win? Well, we'll get into it after the game. Let's just stay with this right now right because it, there was tactics along both diagonals for black. But this kind of position, uh, from black's perspective, black is no longer playing the traditional types of setup. And there was a moment when White could have played D4 earlier yes. that I was terrified of when B6 actually appeared on the board because I've been on the black side of that position or that type of position where you just get pummeled if they play D4. But Magnus shows a different route and now he he's is going taken, full um, positional. He's taking on D5 and he's going to pressure that pawn. And the challenge, as you said, you have he has capture is on E2. capturing yeah. on E2 quickly. The challenge is for, for White to somehow bring more guys to the party. <laughs> exactly. But it's not so easy to attack Black's king. Black's king, not just you, yet. You'd, have to, you'd have to do quite a few things. Your knight needs to be on g5, and then somehow you disrupt this knight on f6. Even if your rook gets to h4, then you can... I mean, how does you get a rook to h4? It's not so easy to attack the position. I think it's just a matter of posting up the pieces. Knight f4, rook e5, rook e1. But knight f4, queen d6, followed by du- queen d6. Followed by doubling, right? I mean, that's what's going to yes. happen. Now G4 looking to disrupt the knight. knight. And now this, this is serious. He wants to put a knight on G3 and play G5. But actually, even if he even if he pulls that off, that doesn't look that strong either. And rookie 8 ignoring this G5 demonstration, I'm not sure where you go. You have to play one move or the other. And now you'd have to play knight F. He's playing knight G3. Where is this knight going from G3? 
But I can't imagine that White will want no, to bring the knight to e4. Queen d6. And queen d6 gets played. And, and to do that, he's going to have to play c2, c4 uh, to give him himself a chance of uh, swinging his knight no, through the e4 square. And he's, he's going right for it. By the way, g5, knight f5. Good eye there, um, Jennifer. And look and at rookie D is, play accurate chess. Trading and then rookie eight intermezzo attacking your rook so you can't take his knight and now you can't I will, because there's rook takes e one check then queen takes f six stopping mate. I I definitely still want to put my knight to f five so I'll play rook f one or rook d one let's say just so that I'm threatening this knight f five. What do you get when you put your knight on f five? If I'm I play threatening like, mate on g seven, but I play queen e five. I play knight d seven, knight f five, queen e five, attacking your knight and then mm. your knight something. has to move and that's it. I got the couple. No, okay. Good point. <laughs> right? I mean, yes, yes, you with, know, no, with no, that no, in no, the position, no, I don't like play. what Magnus has done. Magnus, no. Black's position looks perfect. It looks flawless. It looks like there might be an attack because the queen is sitting there, but there is no attack. No, I mean, the, the only other thing is knight is actually... H, by the way, knight h5, mm -hmm. rook move knight, knight h5, and then the queen moves, and then, and then you have to move your knight again. So rook f1, knight, rook f1, knight d7, knight h5. Queen, Queen e5. e5, again, grabbing a hold of that dagger. Knight's guarding right. on all squares. No problems there either. He even has Queen f8 at any moment. He wants to. And the so Queen could end up becoming Magnus a trade. And Magnus is taking some time to realize this He's ain't worse. working out. He's Let me worse. trade and back up. He's and it worse. is black for choice in this position. This Queen's way offside. Yeah, that's right. right. That's, but that sometimes nail. happens when you play Bishop H6, Ooh. Queen H6. Why didn't he play Queen F4 and nail White's Queen on that H6 Absolutely. square? That was strange. A very big missed opportunity. So reconfiguring uh, Magnus playing Queen G3. Oh my it, gosh, now he's played D5, D4, which has given the nice square E4 as a great outpost for the White Knight wow, to come to. Wow, these decisions. I. Okay, it's not... It's not Lost right. for him at any stretch no, of the no, imagination. No, 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 no. Game is actually looking very droish. But admittedly, Ding is playing with edge. two minutes on the clock. He's got the edge. He could have gotten so much. Look at Queen More. of Four with such a chance. Yeah. Positionally. But to he's just playing keep the so in. fast. He's staying a minute ahead of the world champion on the clock. That's not going to help him in this position because it's just equal. Unless Magnus blunders and we don't see that happening anytime soon. Although, but that's it's a check. Check. like he's just got a knight E3. That did happen. It did happen, and we're looking at. I'm looking at the live uh, board wasn't as they yeah. move, and we can we can switch boards. I think, producer, uh, let's just see the live board. Yeah, we can see this so one pretty Knight clearly. Two has and he has missed. won a pawn, but look at this, Magnus now winning the H pawn. Well, there's ninety one versus knight uh, endgame. Okay, king coming down for now. Nice active king now burying Magnus's king. Wait a minute, and threatening the bishop. This is serious. Yes, and it C4 is. is coming. Very serious block. Bishop E4 would walk into C4, so Magnus has to move his bishop well away from that E4 square. Magnus is going to put his bishop on B5 now, but doesn't this allow... So knight E1. Yes. Why knight E1? As, as played. Well, I thought he wanted to play knight F3 check and king to G3. Why didn't he just play C4? Why don't you just play C4, C4 immediately with a breakthrough? Yeah, just make your breakthrough. Why, why would you win? I guess he thought knight f3 check here would... Oh, well, now we have he's going to be a race. It's going a to full be a race. full-scale race. This knight can get back to stop this pawn by going to f4. Four. And then yeah, you're ready to sacrifice. That looks like a winning move. Uh, but after bishop d3, f4. king d3, h4, we would have been a move behind. Right, also. so now Magnus recognizing that he has okay, no chance. Okay, does d3 work? d3, take, take, h5. Ooh. This knight gets caged. D three takes takes h five, and you can't get yeah. back to this pawn. Wow! Look at that. I think this is a good time to play a five. Just advance on the queen side. He's playing and now. Here it is. How to make progress? And how can if he pushes now? Same problem. This h pawn is the worst pawn is ahead to, on the to fight against a knight. And now Ding Lorraine doesn't see how. And now he's brought his knight. Okay. Down and here goes the knight dancing to find some other square. He was on the wrong circuit. Yeah. Now a new circuit. Can it help? And Magnus has to be very careful for any kind of forks. Knight, knight d5. And, and there's now knight he can f6 win. Oh, Look there at that. Goes. He's done it. Yes. And, and now just push the pawn. Magnus and now he's going to win. A4. The bishop can go to a4 to try the to guard king the position. Will come to e2. And now it's a three it's against over. two with a winning position. Beautiful. He just has to trade, and there is no chance. 
Magnus there goes down. Dig Loren scoring a fine win. Absolutely. Pla applause in the <laughs> this this blitz is just phenomenal. I um, love and it. another win for Black. And another win for Black. That was great blitz chess. High level chess. Wow. Very high With level. No delay, no increments, just playing moves. Those guys showed it there. And Ding Loren needed Little that extra take. minute in the end as he outwitted Magnus Carlsen in the end game. Let's take another look at that final blitz action. This was very impressive.